Hey there, this is Tom with Tom Tech Show, and today we're talking about getting back into your SQL Server if you've lost or don't have the SA password. Here we go. Hi, this is Tom with Tom Tech Show, and there are times sometimes when I'm consulting or doing something and I'm trying to, often it'll be a foreign system, that somebody says, we need this fixed, we don't know what's going on, um, we, we need somebody to look at our SQL server, and it's like, well, I'm coming from the outside, I don't know what the, you know, the administrator password is, I don't know, you know, they log into the server, they go, I, and typically somebody at a company often doesn't know, or it's poorly documented by whoever set the system up, many different reasons, or you just, you just plain forgot it, you can't remember what it is when you set it up. Okay, so here I have a server, has SQL Server, you know, maybe the the SA password is blah, blah, blah. Okay, so and I click connect and it comes up and says login failed for user SA. So how do I, how do I get this back? Well, here, well, let's go over it. Okay, so we go to command prompt, right click, command prompt, say more, they run as administrator. So we're going to run a command prompt as administrator. That gets us our little window. I have all the commands here in a file so that I can easily get them copied and pasted over here correctly. So first thing is to do is to a net stop MSSQL server. So we're going to stop our SQL server. So it's going to come up and say stopping. Okay, now we want to start SQL server in what's called kind of a maintenance mode or as they say, single user mode. Okay, so that's net start MSSQL server dash M, and that will start us in uh, single user mode. So that and you so you have to be remoted into the server. You have to be at the console. You can't do this remotely. So then we need to type SQL CMD, which gets us a SQL Server command line. Okay. Now we're at a SQL Server command line, and we, can, we need to do a few things here. We're going to move this down here a little bit. So I need to, here it says create login. I'm just creating a user called admin with the password password. We're not going to be real sophisticated about this right now. So we're going to come up here. We're going to paste that in. Okay, then to run the command, to make it work, you have to, of course, type go, and then password validation fail. Password validation complex. Oh, so I need this one to be a... A one two three four star, a more complex password. Okay, there we go. So, um, so that you might have to do. You might get that message that you need a complex password if you're just trying to do something simple. So just throw in your more complex password. Okay. So the original uh, role f command to add our user to the sysadmin was sp add server role member admin so take our user and add that to the group sysadmin that was the old way to do it looking that up um, according to microsoft they have an important message that says this feature in maintenance mode may be removed in a future version of microsoft sql server use alter server role instead so here's the new alter server role so we're going to alter server role sysadmin add member admin so instead of taking admin and adding it to the sysadmin role we're going to take sysadmin and add put admin as a member okay so copy that we'll paste that there do our go and now we have that put in there okay so now we can exit our sql command and we're going to go back and we're going to stop the sql server So we're done with our commands. We've added our user. We've given it sysadmin abilities. Okay, SQL Server is stopping. And then stopped. Now we're going to start it without the dash M. So we're going to start it in normal standard mode. Okay, so starting. Da -da 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 -da. We'll be getting there here in a second. Okay. This is a VM 
So in VirtualBox, so it might take a second to go. There we go. Okay, so now I can come over here, click the connect button, and I can say admin, then our password was pass, password one, two, three, four, star, and hit the enter. And now we have our security, we have our login, which is this admin user, but we can also go come down to the SA user, right click that, click properties, and come in and see and edit and update our password of the SA user. Here we go. So now we're here, we have this panel and we can type in our new password. Boom, and click OK. Now that we have the new password, I can exit, reconnect, this time use SA, and use my new SA password that I just set. So that gets me back into SQL Server. That gets me the ability to go and look around the database and see what's going on, troubleshoot things, and all that for, for clients or your own systems or whatever, all right? Here we go. All right, so that's how we recover our SA password. I'll leave all of the commands listed uh, down below in the description. If you have any other information about SQL Server that you need to know, um, I've, I've used SQL Server and done many SQL Server things over the years. That's not my specific job, but as a an IT you know, administration kind of generalist, you gotta know, you gotta know everything uh, anymore to keep everything going. So that's, that kind of ends up being who I am. The one that knows, not the one that knows everything, the one that knows most things across a broad spectrum. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching this one. Take care. Mm -hmm.